Hey guys, so today's video I am so excited about because let me tell you what. Okay, we need to have a conversation. The amount of people I've seen on Instagram and Twitter, and those are pretty much the only places because those are the only two websites I see, but also a little bit on TikTok because I'm not gonna lie when I say I go on there every once in a while. Um, <laughs> But the amount of girls that I've seen complain about the fact that they don't know what they're going to do with their nails during quarantine. I am just like, what is going on? What do you mean you don't know what you're going to do with your nails? Okay, I am a crazy person when it comes to my nails. If you know me, you know this. I have my nails done and if I don't, you know there's something wrong. <laughs> I always have my nails done. I cannot not have my nails done. It's the one thing I can go without my makeup, I can go without my hair, I can go without a lot of things, but my nails is not one of those things. I have to have my nails done. Because of that, I've learned a lot of tricks along the way and a lot of different techniques because as you know, getting your nails done is really expensive. Um, and when it comes to a time like this where we are in quarantine and the nail salons are shut down, um, you can't go get your nails done. That's not an option. So I'm here to save you. I'm here to help you out. I'm here to give you all the tips, all the tricks, and let you guys know what I've been doing for years, years. Today's video is going to teach you guys how to get quick, easy, cheap, bomb nails during quarantine. That's what this video is today. Um, I'm so excited about it because honestly, I just feel like everyone should know this anyways because like if you can't get to the nail salon or you can't afford it or whatever, this is what I do. And this is honestly one of the easiest, best ways to do your nails. And nails have come a long way, let me just say that. So if you guys wanna see how I get my cheap, quick, easy quarantine nails, then just keep watching. Okay, so to start this off, I just have a paper towel here um and I'm going to be using kiss nails so you guys might be asking yourselves why I'm doing a video on this and why I'm doing a tutorial first of all I feel like people are so stuck back in the day when these used to be so awful <laughs> and not cute and just like French manicure style and just not what today's nail style is let me just tell you, they have come a long way. This is my go-to when either I can't go to the salon, I can't afford to go to the salon, or like right now when the salon is closed. They're cheap, they're easy to put on, and they last like two plus weeks if you know how to put them on right. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today, okay? Now, like I said, let me just tell you, here's the three that I have. Now, I used these um, this past week, so I'm not gonna be using those, but I just wanted to show you guys a couple of the ones that I have. Um, there's my dog's hair in there because why wouldn't there be? Um, so they're really cute. You can get them in all different styles. Of course, long, medium, short. They have stilettos. They have coffin. They have square. They have so many different designs. They have some with little jewels that do not go anywhere. I'm not kidding. I had some with jewels a couple weeks ago, which I'll try to send. Actually, if you guys watched my um, 10 minute hair mommy video, I was wearing those nails in that that video um, those jewels I had those nails on for over two weeks the jewels did not come off not one okay they're serious you guys like they these nails have come a long way since a long time ago but here are these these are beautiful periwinkle color that are like perfect for the springtime right now I have these two as well I think I'm gonna do the orange ones but this is just to show you like these have like chrome sparkly ones and matte ones they have matte they have shiny um, I mean they have everything they even just have came out with a collection called like the jelly fantasy collection I personally like the gel fantasy um, the best I'm gonna show you guys how to put these on correctly I don't want to talk too much but I did just want to show you guys that they have a ton of different options I'm gonna also maybe leave a couple pictures on the screen just to kind of show you guys what else they still have as well just so you guys can kind of grasp what kind they have so that if you guys did want to try this you can totally do it now let's get into the video where I'm going to show you guys how to make these last for up to two weeks if not longer um, so let's do this for this we are only going to use the supplies that come in this package which is really nice so I'm going to use the glue the nails take that out it comes with this little pack right here these are little sticky adhesives don't use those okay they're not gonna last they're gonna look janky don't use them please for the love of God I don't think they work if you've made them work good for you but I can't figure out how to do that to save my life 
but we are going to take out the file and this little stick thing. Okay, so to start, my nails are awful looking. Please ignore that. Um, I just took some of these off. I took them off way too early because I was trying to film this video to get it up faster for you guys, but um, ignore the fact that my nails are ugly. We're gonna fix it. So what you wanna do is this has a pointy side. This little stick here has a pointy side and then a side that kind of slants. We're gonna use the slanted side to just push our cuticles back. This is really important. I think the prep of the nail is one of the things that makes these last um, the whole two weeks and longer. So you want to start by just pushing your cuticle back. I have three main tips when doing this and pushing the cuticle back is the first main tip. Next, we're just going to take the file and we are just going to file our nails. We're basically almost prepping them as if you were at a nail salon getting acrylics on. Um, you just want to prep them almost like that. Um, we just want to file down not a ton. We're just doing this lightly just to get that top layer of like oily um, nail off of there. And I know that sounds really weird, oily nails, but your nail um, nails actually do collect oil on them. And you don't want any of that when you're doing your nails or else these will not stick as well as you want them to. So we're just going to just barely just file around the entire surface of the nail very lightly. Also, I did want to mention really quickly, if you need to trim your nails beforehand, you are more than welcome to. Mine are short enough right now to where I don't need to, but if you did need to trim them, you could go ahead and do that before you started any of the other steps. Um, I would do that step right before you did the cuticle pushing and then do the cuticle pushing and then get into the nail filing. So now our nails are pretty much prepped. They have been um, filed um, for the most part. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and start to choose our nail sizes. Now this step is also really important um, because you obviously wanna make sure that they fit well on your nails so that they look the most natural. I feel like people rush this part sometimes and that's another reason why sometimes they may not look as good as you want them to if you try this because you may be like, wait a minute, this doesn't look like I think it does. I do know um, the sizes pretty much of all of my nails because I do this, um, like I said, I've done this pretty often. But what you want to do is you just want to take the nail and to check the size, you just want to kind of place it on there and just you want to make sure you're rotating your nail so that you can see on the side and see if there's any kind of gap or if you can see your natural nail underneath. And if that's the case, then that's obviously the wrong side. If they don't have your perfect nail size it's better to size that down than to size up if you're sizing up it's going to either overlap on your hand and look really bad or it's just going to be very uncomfortable and hurt you and it can also dig into your skin or your cuticle I suggest sizing down um, if you have to if they don't have your exact nail size so I'm going to go ahead and just get all of the nails that I need out. So this is my thumbnail, um, and I'm just gonna continue to size each of my um, nails until I have all 10 laid out. Now that I've got my nails laid out, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and just get the um, nail set out of my way just so I have a better work surface. And we're gonna go ahead and get started on applying the nails. I'm going to open up the glue. So I've zoomed in so you guys can really see my hand. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the nail glue. I'm just gonna take it straight out of here. I only put it on my nail bed. I do not put it on the nails. You wanna make sure you're getting enough, but also not putting way too much. Um, I like to cover the nail bed pretty liberally. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just kinda squeeze some out and then just use the tip of the nail glue to kinda just spread it around until the majority of my nail is shiny like so. Here is my other really important tip. When you're going to be putting these on, once you have your nail glue all over the bed, when you go to put it on, please don't just place it on your nail where you think it goes. Take it, 
take the nail make sure you have like a really good grip on it hold it at the very end of the nail like this and right where you see like the white of my cuticle is right here or the white of my nail bed excuse me we're gonna go ahead and place it down right there and then we're going to slide it back into the cuticle and then make sure that you are also pressing down firmly up top here so that it actually adheres up here as well this bit of glue right here what we're going to do right after you feel it stick you're going to take either a paper towel or a napkin and we're going to wipe away don't wipe this way don't wipe that way wipe down towards your cuticle and the reason that we're wiping down towards our cuticle is because these um, with these kiss nails the matte ones specifically um, have a the matte ones specifically if you get any kind of nail um, nail glue on them and you try to swipe it or wipe it this way or that way or whatever um, and you don't wipe away it will make it shiny in that area and obviously we don't want that um, so so far this is our first nail um, what you can do is if you guys can see this little piece right here just take the file that was in there and just kind of you know file it off Till it's gone and there you go there is the first nail now something else you do want to keep it and press it and hold it for about 30 seconds while you are um, while you're waiting for the glue to dry right after you put it on make sure you're holding for 30 seconds that's going to ensure that this is really stuck to your nail i like to kind of apply pressure in different areas so i'll kind of apply pressure to the sides and then i'll switch it up and apply pressure just to the very center um, to make sure that every part of the nail um, has glue underneath it that's the biggest thing with this is you want to make sure you're applying pressure everywhere because if you don't there will be gaps where glue will not be stuck to the nail and the nail won't be fully pressed down um, and that's when you're gonna have the nail start to lift and come up and break off um, and that's what you don't want so I'm gonna demonstrate again with a second nail so once again going in here with some nail glue and just spreading it around with the tip of this take that second nail hold it down at the bottom about right there about three quarters way of the way down you want to push it into the cuticle so that it looks like your natural nail and then I'm also pressing really firmly with my thumb up top here I'm just putting a good amount of pressure and then after a few seconds um, if I see that there's glue on the side I will go ahead and wipe that away and then I'll go ahead and go in on the sides of the nails and really firmly push down and just like I said keep distributing um, pressure across the whole nail and sometimes I'll even roll my finger like this file this little guy off right there and there is our second nail done I'm just gonna keep going are the nails done on the first hand so something I wanted to mention is when I'm gonna try to show you guys this a little bit when I'm pushing this down you guys can see I have it at an angle so that this is not it's not flat like this to the nail it's kind of going in at an angle and I slowly press the nail down like that I hope that you guys are able to see that I slowly take the tip of it and I slowly just bring it down fully onto the nail bed and this is going to really also help stick it completely so that you're not getting any air 
color bubbles and you're not just pressing it on and making it look kind of sloppy. This is just kind of keeping a lot of that control of where the nail goes when you do it that way. I did just want to go ahead and remind you guys that the reason that I do slide it on is because it goes like kind of into your cuticle a little bit and that's what makes it look so natural. It makes it look like you're just wearing acrylics or you got your nails done at the salon rather than them just looking like press on glue on nails that you got at the drugstore. Also something I did want to say really quickly too is that this glue, um, it doesn't dry like right away. You have a few seconds before you put um, the, place the nail on um, your nail bed to get it on there but once it's on there it's not budging you want to make sure that you get it right the first time um or else you may have a couple of issues um the glue dot does dry pretty quickly it doesn't like like i said you can get the nail on there you have time to place your nail but once the nail is on and has made contact to the nail it's not going anywhere that glue is dry also a little tip for you guys if you guys get glue on your hands this glue like I said like this stuff does not play okay it's coming to like put in work so if you get glue on your hands take the nail file and just gently file it off it works like a charm every time um, I'm giving you all, all the tricks all my secrets to my nails honestly I really am all right you guys here are both hands done I've got my nails on they look so good um i mean you know they're not the salon but they honestly they're such a close compared version to the salon um they really do look like you have just gotten your nails done like acrylics or something done at a salon and that's not the case you did them at your house for way cheaper than a salon um probably like a third of the price and they last you just as long as your nails at the salon do if not longer so um i really like them and here is the final product i just wanted to show you guys pretty up close so you guys can see how well they are actually like pushed in to my cuticle and how natural that looks Okay, you guys, so that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that this is helpful. I know that some people may already know about this, and I'm hoping people do, but from what I've seen, it seems like no one knows what to do with themselves because of their nails. So I'm just trying to help you out. Um, but I did just want to say, I also have a couple more tri tricks and tips up my sleeve, so give me a second. Let me get it out. Um, we're in quarantine. We can't go out very much, but what you can do is you can go to Target Drive Up or Walmart Drive Up, um, which are two places that sell these nails um, and also the best place to get these nails um, is Walgreens they have the best options at Walgreens I don't know why but Walgreens has the absolute best selection of these nails they have every kind that you want they have the jeweled ones they have the short ones long ones mediums coffin shape uh, stiletto I mean like matte shiny chrome sparkly glitter everything they have it all at walgreens if you need to pick up essentials and you're going to the drugstore um obviously with a face mask and your gloves uh i suggest if you want to try this out and once again you are going to the drugstore for essentials don't go out to just get the nails but if you're going to go out for other essentials i highly suggest going to walgreens it's the best place to find the nails. Um, I'm not promoting going out to buy nails. Please don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm saying that if you do go to get some essentials, you can add this to your order, especially Target drive up where you don't have to walk in, don't have to have any communication really. Someone just brings up the stuff to your car or uh, Walmart pickup. They also have these nails. Um, you can just pick up your items or order them online. Amazon also sells them so you can order them on Amazon and completely avoid going out for those people that aren't even going out for essentials and are just ordering stuff for delivery. Anyways, I just wanted to put that out there and put that in this video just so you guys had some kind of direction on where to get the best ones because like I said, I've been doing this for years and I know where the best ones are at because I've had to learn. So anyways, I hope that you guys liked this video. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. It was a little bit of entertainment for you during your quarantine. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it. Um, I have a 10 minute mommy makeup going up on Wednesday. So look out for that. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much 
much for watching um and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up if you guys want to see more videos like this one or just like this video and once again tag me on instagram which will be listed down below or twitter if you guys end up doing your nails okay um i want to see what you guys got remember to say stay safe sanitary wash your hands use hand sanitizer wear your gloves your masks everything like that um but be safe um i hope you guys are all doing well and um i'm thinking about everyone hoping everyone is just getting through this the best that they can um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys